These are three meditation techniques which are incredibly powerful and can give you all kinds of blessings and happiness and vastly increase your spiritual powers. These are the three most powerful meditation techniques. This is my philosophy. All right, so first let's talk about the Ender Somni. Ender Somni means dream ender. And this is a part of the universe and a reality which is beyond base reality. And this is the, an eternal principle of reality. For the Ender Somni, which is the dream ender, for this meditation technique, think of all things eternal state, as all things become one single primordial self in the eternal. This gives one power over others and things. In eternity, everything has been everywhere, with all possibilities fulfilled. You have already done everything, and everything is the same. All possibilities equally exist as one eternity. Everyone is the same if they are on the same tattva level, the same level of being, then they are all the same in eternity because everyone has done everything and everything has been everywhere because there's infinite time. So all possibilities have been realized and everything is the same as one eternity. That is the dream ender. You can use this meditation technique to change yourself and to actually become a more divine being and change others or to control reality like a lucid dream. The next meditation technique is called the perfect mirror. For this, imagine that each thing and each being has an infinite amount of karma and thus there are infinite reactions throughout the macrocosm. It's already been proven that every reaction has an equally opposite reaction. And so everything has done infinite things in eternity. So therefore, everything has infinite karma. God rules over everything, an infinite existence of the multiverse. The way he controls it all at once is with the perfect mirror on the 10th dimension. The perfect mirror is a 10th dimensional aspect of reality. And the Ender Somni Dream Ender is a ninth dimensional aspect of reality. So yeah, this is a way that God controls everything at the same time with the perfect mirror. Because it can automatically give the exact right reaction to things. For this, God gives the exact perfect reaction to everyone and everything simultaneously. Thus, everything gets the exact reaction that God would give unto them. So to use the perfect mirror, one must focus on the infinite reactions of everything, the infinite karma or universal karma of all. With the perfect mirror, like Ultra Instinct in Dragon Ball Super, one's body and the universe naturally does what is best, like Wu Wei, non-doing of Taoism. So with the perfect mirror, things will just naturally happen perfectly, as if God himself was controlling them. And that's why you should meditate on this perfect mirror. And it can also give you divine bliss. And you can spread joy and goodness throughout the macrocosm with the perfect mirror. And this perfect mirror is what I used, actually, to make my first grand jutsu after Jiren. After I created Jiren, that was actually my first one, Jiren Landek from Dragon Ball Super. But this was my first time I made a really big grand jutsu that actually killed people. And that was the Parkland shooting. When I made the Parkland shooting happen, I used the perfect mirror to do that. And that's how I actually broke through that wall and broke down that barrier. The perfect mirror can also be considered as a weapon, a supremely powerful weapon, or as a tool and instrument of goodness. The perfect mirror is possessed by Lord Ramachandra and by God, obviously. When I say this, I mean Lord Rama of Hinduism 
also known as Lord Ramachandra, is very related to the perfect mirror. And his name is kind of like the perfect mirror. Rama means infinite happiness, source of infinite happiness, and Chandra means the moon god. And the perfect mirror is related to the moon, just like how Endersomni is related to the sun. So Lord Rama is very related to this perfect mirror as the Rama is the Lord of the multiverse. And, and the Ender Somni can, can be also thought of as a weapon, as a sword. And, and the Ender Somni can wipe something. So Ender Somni, the dream Ender sword, can wipe away the existence of something or someone completely. As a sword, the Ender Somni is the most powerful weapon the dream ender. Anything which touches its blade instantly becomes part of its strength and is erased from existence otherwise. It can completely delete something from existence. And it does this by merging souls. If, if it merges someone's soul into someone else's, then that person no longer exists. And the ender somni also can be used for time travel and it is beyond time the dream ender. It can be used to split a soul apart into two souls or merge two souls together and change a soul. The ender somni as a sword is possessed by Mithras and by God, obviously. So the ender somni is very related to Mitra, Mitra, Mithras, the sun god and the god of souls. And just, he is avatar of God. Mithras is related to the ender somni, a dream ender. Ender Somni is also related to the sun, spirit, and eternity, while the perfect mirror is related to the moon, karma, and infinity. By meditating on the Ender Somni and perfect mirror, all spiritual powers are vastly increased. As I explained in my previous video, I have a dojutsu, which is omnikinesis, because I have silver eyes, just like how Goku has silver eyes. And I made that video before a month before him. But yeah, so I have silver eyes, and I, and I can actually use these techniques of Ender Somni and Perfect Mirror through my eyes as well. Now, when these two techniques of meditation are combined together, that makes the ultimate meditation technique, which is the God Computer technique, or God Brain technique. For this, imagine that everything is inside the computer or brain of God all reality in a matrix of existence under the God computer and God brain. Imagine all the stars are connected like brain cells and all is one brain of God. The universe is the brain of God and the mind of God. This technique can be used to encode anything or any situation into reality and control all of reality like a computer simulation or like thoughts in the mind or the macrocosm. So that is the God computer technique, which is realized by combining the Ender Somni and Perfect Mirror. And so those are the three ultimate meditation techniques and techniques to increase spiritual powers. Thanks for watching Lord Kalki Ravi. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button and leave a comment.